Hey everybody, this is Doc from Ebony Ivory Cigar Podcast. Um, I'm here chilling in uh, James and Son Tobacconist Cigar Lounge in Saratoga Springs, New York. And today I want to talk about the proper way to light a cigar. Um, Most people light a cigar incorrectly. Uh, You see them actually burning uh, the foot of the cigar and when you inhale that you're getting a lot of carbon. Lighting cigar is actually an art and the main thing is to take your time. Uh, it's almost like a woman. You just don't jump right onto her, you know, your wife or whatever, significant other. You kind of want to take, take, take your time. So you, you grab a cigar. The best way to light a cigar is with a soft flame to make sure you don't burn it. But if you're using a blue flame, which is a torpedo, uh, you never want to put the light itself on the cigar. Just let the heat do the work and you're constantly rotating it slowly, rotating it back and forth to make sure you're evenly um, heating the foot of the cigar. Now this takes time, it's not something fast. Uh, if you're using matches or a soft flame, works better, because then you can get a little bit closer, but, but with the blue flame, just keep it away, never let the tip touch the cigar itself. You just let the hot heat do the work. And you can kind of see how it's heating up. It turns into a black color first, um, and then begin to slowly uh, get a glow and turn to ash. Uh, again, being careful not to light the wrapper itself because then you're burning it. Uh, the, the goal is for your first puff, your virgin puff, to be just as good as the middle and end of the cigar. So I'm just constantly rotating it back and forth. Again, never letting the flame touch the cigar itself. Every once in a while, I, I give it a whirl um, to let the, the, the filler um, heat up inside the cigar. And I go right back to it. It is never a race. You want to get to that orange glow. That's the goal. But again, not rushing. Just take your time. Letting the, letting the heat do the work letting all the filler begin to bind correctly. You can start to see, and and even before doing a draw, you start to get the the nuances of the cigar. I'm already smelling the the nuts, a little bit of uh, vanilla, caramel smell. I'm anticipating being able to enjoy the cigar. Again, main thing is you want to get a lighter that has a point so you can be very purposefully um, where uh, the lighter is actually hitting the cigar. And if you notice, if you're looking at the cigar itself, you notice that there's no black soot on the outside of the wrapper. I'm just slowly lighting the foot of the cigar. Constantly rotating to get an even burn. And then once you got it to the point where you think it's good, now I want to get to the point where You want to make sure you got a lighter with plenty of butane in it. And I'm going to take that and slowly, again, not letting the flame touch the cigar, inhale to get an orange glow. And thus, the proper way to light your cigar. If you notice, it's perfectly lit. You have no black spots at the bottom of the cigar. It's all perfect gray ash. Anyway, this is Doc from uh, Ebony Ivory Cigar Podcast. Take care. See you next time.